the day has finally come. I have to move out of my travel trailer. I'll explain more in a minute. So you guys, I have been painting inside of the tiny home and last night I painted and I slept inside the tiny home and when I woke up this morning my stomach was hurting like the lower part of my left stomach was hurting I don't know what that is down there in that area but it was hurting this morning and just now I started back painting again and I had the door closed, the fumes up in there, and my stomach started hurting again. Well, it still was hurting, but it started hurting more. So I think it is the paint that is causing my stomach to hurt because I don't have that much ventilation up in there and I'm working and I need to open the doors and stuff. And then when I get ready to go to bed at night, I close the doors and the fumes have still not got them venting. So I'm gonna have to move out of the tiny home, you guys. I know it's sad. I'm gonna have to move out the tiny home, but anyway, it's not that much room up in there for me to work and for me to do what I'm doing. So I'm gonna have to move out of my tiny home. So I'm driving around to the tiny shed where I had my air condition at. And I have to go get my air conditioning so I can actually sleep in the van tonight and see. This was gonna be a good test to see if the air condition works. What's tonight? Tonight is Monday. I think they have bingo tonight. But anyway, yeah, y'all, I'm gonna have to uh, I needed to test anyway to see if this air condition would be sufficient to keep my van cool. So I think it's gonna be able to keep the van cool because it kept kept that little tiny shed cool somewhat and the van is smaller and the van is insulated. The tiny shed was not insulated. So I think like when I go to a campground or something and I have electricity, if I have my air conditioning unit with me, It will be fine to keep my van cool. So I am about to get the last thing. I haven't been back over here <sighs> to go back into my shed since I moved out. So I'm about to go in here and get the last thing that I own out of this shade. So let's do this. I hope I have the key. <laughs>
if I can make a rough room for this in the van. Yeah. Excuse me. Let me take a picture. What I'm gonna do is walk over to my place and get my screwdriver and stuff so I could take my light down. So that way I don't have to come back over here at all for anything. So let me go do that and I'll be right back. Phillips screwdrivers, y'all. I need a flip Phillips screwdriver. So let me get my drill right quick. Get this old. Ain't no point in procrastinating and putting it off. Let's get it over with right now. Okay, y'all, so I need to take these screws out of here. Can I see? Can I see? Ooh, I can't see, y'all. I'm blind as a bat. I'm blind. Okay, now I got everything out of here that belongs to me. Woohoo! Let me put this in the way and lock this door. And I don't ever have to come back here no more. Yay! Now we can move into our van tonight and see if the air condition keeps it warm. Experiment. Van life experiment. Number one.
goes to it. I need to know that because I'm going to give the key to the people. It didn't have a lock on it when I moved in, but I'm going to give a key to them so they can keep it locked up and give it to the next person or just keep it locked up and let them get their own lock. Okay. Bye, tiny home. I love you. Okay, you guys, it's better to be safe than sorry. So, I am safe. And now, we can leave this joint forever. We can leave this joint forever. Thank God for it, serving the purpose we needed it to serve, while we were there, and God is good, He is good, He is good all the time. He gave me peace of mind. Okay, y'all, I will see you guys back over at the other tiny home. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, you guys, so I'm moving out of the tiny home the fumes are too much and it's too much junk in there while i'm working so i'm moving out of the tiny home into my van i have my air condition unit that i had bought from walmart uh and i'm about to hook that up so i have the holes over here running over this way and i'm gonna put my window down and see if i could get it to fit in there and uh, then we're gonna turn it on and see how cool we could get it inside the van. Hey you guys that is it for today's vlog i had to move out of the tiny home into back into my van you guys because the fumes was too much my side my stomach my lower part of my stomach was hurting from the fumes and everything and it was just too cluttered up in there but i did sleep in the van last night you guys and uh, I hooked up the air condition in there and it stayed around 70 degrees up in there. So it was a, you know, I was cool. I wasn't too hot. I didn't sleep too good because I kept tossing and turning all night long and I had to get comfortable back to sleeping on the floor again. But I will be sleeping in the van again tonight and until I finish my DIY projects until the fumes die down so uh yeah i'm back to living in a van again y'all i'm back to doing van life and i do have a video coming to show you guys how to use the air condition that i have in van life especially for camping and all of that especially if you have a van like me or an rv or anything like that and even a smaller size vehicle because they do make those in smaller sizes so i want to show you guys how to be able to utilize that especially if you haven't did a van build yet it will be perfect for when you go camping and you're going to be hooked up to electricity so anyway, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And look below the video, look for the subscribe button. If the subscribe button is black or 
uh, red, you have not subscribed to the channel yet, hit it one time and it should turn white or light gray and it's gonna say subscribed and that means you subscribe. Make sure you go subscribe to Vanessa VIPB as well. We're trying to get that uh, channel to 11 thousand subscribers we're almost there we need like 130 more people to subscribe to that channel i go live over there every day and i post my motivational and encouraging videos over there as well also if you want to support the channel in any shape form or fashion all my information is in the description box below my cash app my paypal my amazon wish list and my mailing address just look below the video click more twice or the down arrow and all my information will appear i talk to you guys later and thanks for watching and let me know what y'all think about me moving back into the van girl is y'all excited okay y'all i'm gonna be talking to y'all and going live in the van see you later